together and it's and it's missing important pieces. Kevin, it's all about communication and, and being ready to step up. And as long as you keep working as a unit, you can cover the missing line. So with Johnson on the bench, here's the five for Quinn Snyder right now. We've got Beasley. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Sarge Yeldon. And it's Young and it's Hunter in at the center position. The Atlanta shooting their first free throws of the night right here. He misses the free throw. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. This team has a lot of firepower. And some great scores, Kevin. They don't just launch threes. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. And New York making a change here. And all this checked in. And there's the pass to Wilkes. Pocket six. New York needs to get off the shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Randolph was an Indiana State champion coming out of high school, so you know the pressure of the NBA doesn't bother him. There's nothing more intense than that when you talk about that Indiana high school tournament. Hey, Doris, you grew up in New York. The pressure of playing in the big city, is that a real thing? Oh, absolutely, Kevin. If you're playing in the media capital of the world, everything is magnified. And I think that holds true for the other respective large cities. Los Angeles and Chicago come to mind. Boy, Malik Beasley, known as a pure scorer, but how about the setup of his teammate right there? That's a pretty pass. Westbrook wide open. He fired. Three. Drills the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the trip. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Pass to Wiggins. The basket good off the assist from Young. Assist from a triple move gets a little separation, and that's all Wiggins needs. That's pretty. Westbrook against Young. From the baseline, Hunter grabs the miss. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And finished off by Westbrook. Russell Westbrook right now creating havoc with his defensive abilities. My goodness. Back to Young. Sinks the triple. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Pass to Wilkes. Young against Westbrook. Rebounded by the Hawks. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Oh, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving. No doubt whatsoever. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low number. We throw no good from Oldama. Looking at the Knicks, they took the win in their last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. Young for three, buries it from three-point range. Three point Young's got six. Well, late rotation by the defense, and Wiggins has the vision to find the open man. Westbrook with it, guarded by Hunter. Aldama passes to Beast. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Here come the Knicks. Hitting actors, everyone. Get back. And New York making a change here. So quickly, let's look at the numbers for Hunter. First in scoring. And, of course, he's the number one shot blocker in the league. Just an imposing presence inside. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Shot to stop the run. Hunter grabs the miss. Great contest by the defender, but that's a dunk. You've got to put down in his face. Next trail by seven. They set the pick. McDonald passes to Holland. Two minutes from 
downtown, sinks the three-pointer. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. On the outside, here's the three. Eltama gets the bucket. Eltama's got his third basket of the night right there. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Eltama with the rebound. Atlanta with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Beasley for three. Young finds Aldama. A three-pointer. Wiggins. And again, Atlanta with the triple. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this game. McDonald passes to Carter. This one for three. Rebounded by the Hawks. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back. But couldn't get it to fall. Substitution for your Knicks. Luke Barnett. Russell Westbrook. Knicks trail by 10. Passes to Hunt. And the Knicks miss again. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. Young for three. Here's Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan is solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. New York calls timeout. Let's go, New York. Put your hands together for your next seventh half spot. Well, easily with Jones covering. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. On its way from Hunter for two. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Westbrook surveying the D. Pass to Holland. Six to shoot. Here's Randolph. His first attempt of the game finds the target. Well, you love how aggressive Zach Randolph is from that spot. Boy, when he gets into that area, look out. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. And more than anything, their three-point shooting is what sparked them. A fantastic night from long range so far. Back right after this. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Atlanta? 
absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long range shot here early on. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. We've got Zach Randolph. Russell Westbrook out there with Jones. And it's Holland in at the four. They're the group New York will start the second with. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd ever be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says, coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue they they change teams suddenly taking the next step what can key that leap kevin it's not all just opportunity and fit i think there can be a mental component as well a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things you can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself it's written all over his body language Murray, good. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Bamba with the block. Well, this is one of Bamba's big time strengths. Send it back, Mo. Got that one up quick. Wiggins has got 11 points. Nothing more frustrating than to have to guard a guy like him when he is on. New York takes time out. The Knicks making a switch here. Barkley's checked in. So a moment now to see the story of Mohamed Bamba. He's really stood out for them over the past month. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And no one's been able to guard him out there. Defender's been trying to get physical with him. But, but time and time again, he just shrugs him off and drills it. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Hunter grabs the miss. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Back to Barkley. At the top of the key, Hunter. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six That's taken on the floor. One easy look. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. And how about the terrific use of the cross over there to just throw the defender off balance? Hunter with a screen on West. And that one's good. Hunter, he's got 13. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Barkley the pass to Westbrook. He feeds it to Randolph. He lobs it up. Boy, what a savvy veteran. Zach Randolph, what a nice job sharing the basketball. So pretty. Black dishes to Bamba. Here's Wiggins. It's rebounded by New York. They're coming off that win against the Nets. Yeah, they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment, and that led to taking shots that made sense. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. Back the pass to Murray. Over Wilkes. Murray, no good. Next trail by 11. Here's Barkley. Bamba with the block. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Bamba. Substitution for the Knicks. Randolph against Hunter. Randolph passes to Wilkes. Screened by Barkley. Six on the shot clock. And it's Muhammad Bamba with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. 
second team foul. Pass to Wilkes. Shot clock at six. Pass to McDonald. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. He's got nine. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected, or it's a problem. Runner kicks to Murphy. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And the Hawks lead by 11. Carter on the wing. Passes it to Randall. Top Barkley. Barkley with a screen on Murray. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Carter's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The real come at us, and we'll come right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Oh. Now, this requires elite-level athleticism. Murray just floating. Carter, the pass to Randall. Able to get that one. Hunter with some nice defense. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. No coverage that time. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Black kicks to Hunter. For Randolph. Again, the Hawks, good for two. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And so that's the end of the first half. Hawks lead by 11. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And welcome to halftime. With the all-star festivities around the corner, here are the favorites to take part in the dunk contest. Now that it's crunch time, I'm feeling nervous for some of these guys. The voting is almost over. Honestly, I think every guy who has a real chance to win is already locked in. Now let's talk about that first half. It's been a runaway success for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, they certainly were disguising their game plan. Force the ball down low, get some high percentage looks, maybe draw some fouls. They were very physical. This game plan is diesel tested and approved. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And you know, Big Dog has been really making it happen, guys. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the five for Quinn Snyder right now. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young, and Murray. Hunter is out there with Okongwu, and it's Johnson in at the three. And that's what Carter does best, knifing his way inside so he can finish with the easy slant. Two open that time, made it look too easy. Young's got five points now in the quarter. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. The Knicks have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. The Carter just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen a, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. 
and he nails the third. The Atlanta leading by 11. Murray outside. The basket good off the assist from Young. Young's got his fifth assist in this one. Wilkes the pass to Westbrook. Free throw line jump shot. Okongwu grabs the board. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And then Hunter with the jam. It'd be nice if everybody took as much pride in his rebounding as he does. You know what? I, Greg, he loves that part of the game, and it shows. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You take a look at the Hawks. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And, of course, the Knicks just need to take it a game at a time. Well, I think for New York, they'd probably say they'd expect to be a little higher in the standings at this point. But you can't get too down if you're them. They're still knocking on the door with an opportunity to get that top spot. And I don't think anyone will be surprised if they do get it. They've been there before, and despite going through a little bit of a lull, we know they're capable of playing as well as any team in this league. Young against Westbrook. Over Young. And they get it back. Shot clock at five. Carter with the three. Rebound by the Hawks. Now, here is Young. 11 points in the game. Okungu's shot is good. They are just killing them on the interior. Outside Westbrook. And it's sent back by Okongwu. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see Defensive if he can get it going this quarter. That's their third straight make off an assist. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that one falls for Okongwu. Well, we know that scoring in the league doors has been on the uptick this era. Do you see that trend continuing? It's hard to imagine, Kevin, that it won't unless the league makes an adjustment to bring a little bit more defense back into play. That is something you heard Steve Kerr talk about. Have we tilted the scales too much to favor the offense? We'll see what happens. Johnson can't hit. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Carter looking around. And the Knicks miss again. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And it's Murray, that time on the assist by Johnson. Murray's got 14. Oh, sweet lean in. Just no defense around. Probably could have gone straight up. Murray's the long-range jumper. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. And the shot is good from Johnson. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And it's Hunter with the jam. An excellent ball movement. Young being unselfish. There's the lob to Carter. And pushing it up Atlanta. The Hawks. Oh, that was something else. Have mercy. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Will it go? And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. We know this. Zach Randolph in his prime was an elite rebounder, and that's without a great vertical. A different look for New York. Hollins checked in, and Jones subbed in for Barkley. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. 
And Young kicks to Hunter. Outside for Murray. Another three for Atlanta. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Here's Johnson. Here's Hunter. Johnson dishes to Hunter. Young passes to Okongwu. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Carter and stolen by Murray. And it's Young at the elbow. Yep, it counts. Young's got nine points now in just the second half. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Five to shoot. The pass to Holland. Off target from outside. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Jones. Barkley is up there with Randall. And it's Wilkes in at the two guard. That's the five for New York right now. Randolph can't hit. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Oh, wow, guys. Doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. And, boy, this really doesn't look good. That Just the way it happened. Boy, it's got to be so frustrating for him. As hard as he has worked, doing everything he can to help his team, just heartbreaking. Vince Carter, he's checked in for Barkley. And we'll send one your way. Here's Wilkes. He's guarded by Johnson. Carter against Okongwu. Carter with the bucket. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Atlanta calls timeout. Timeout, Atlanta. Give it up right now for the next Breaker Dance Crew. Come on, everybody. Let's make some noise for your next Breaker Dance Crew. Atlanta with the ball, and it's time for an injury report. And now David Aldridge has an update for us on Russell Westbrook. What's the news, David? Well, guys, I was able to catch up with the Knicks head athletic trainer. Unfortunately, it looks like that injury is going to be a severely sprained ankle. Well, I'm told it's pretty bad news. He's definitely out for this game and probably a lot longer. Of course, you never want to hear that, Kevin. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see any kind of injury, Greg. Yeah, it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control over it. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Here's Carter. Here's the floater. And Young kicks to Hunter. 
Murray left side. And it's Hunter with the jam. Nice decision by Murray, choosing to move the ball to the open guy off the pick and roll. Pass to Holland. The high post shot, and he comes up with the deuce. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Even a decent shooter is going to make that with no pressure. 60. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Let me hear, Nick Fan. Coming on to the court now is your Nick Seven Pack Squad. A fade away, and Vince Carter pulls it down. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. The 10-footer. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul, first team foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. They've shown no let up. Penetration, knife it inside. The defense has to tighten it up if they want to slow this team down. But they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Hunter finds Murray. Blocking foul called on. Nate Furman. Second first, no foul. First team foul. Young for three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Nate Furman. Johnson's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Back to Randolph. Four on the shot clock. Here's Carter. Murray with the defensive effort. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. Okay. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Well, all night, he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. McDonald passes the card. Here's Wilkes. He's guarded by Johnson. And stolen by Okongwu. Murray outside. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Wilkes the pass to Carter. To halt the run. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got his 16th rebound on the night. Kicks it to Okongwu. Takes the three. It's rebounded by New York. Randolph's got five rebounds tonight. McDonald passes to Thurman. 127 left to play here in the fourth. There's the pick. Six to shoot. It's good. And one team is just completely out 
outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Hawks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. In what's been a good season already, tonight's win will take their record to 50 wins, a big milestone here tonight. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Big Dog. Boy, this guy played with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight, dominating the physical aspect of the game. Hunter grabs the miss. Johnson outside. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. McDonald passes to Carter. Down low, outside for Randolph. From outside, off the mark. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Young with the ball. No good with the triple. And here's Carter, and so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Well, you know what, Sean? I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just lose one to the kind of win they did tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alders, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Big Dog.